On today's video, I continue struggling turning this Lamborghini into the fastest house on wheels. Finally find an aviation shipper to be able to take this car and put it on an airplane over to Europe, make a nice fashion statement, and then the entire operation threatens to come completely tumbling down with a security clearance issue at Los Angeles International Airport. Previously on Six Wheel Garage. It's on fire, the lamp is on fire. That's how you catch a Lamborghini on fire. In your buddy's garage. I don't know if that did anything. It's melting the tungsten. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Second it off, it's not doing anything. We should just tap it and thread it. Well, either break that well. Oh, it wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't. Really catch. And it's another day, and we are back to another hardware store. We could not figure out last night how to weld the top plate to the bottom flange, the L-metal. There's just no way that I'm reasonably gonna be able to make that look good, given my level of aluminium pig welding experience. We're gonna pick up some very small threaded M3s or M4s. We'll see what fits the best that's not going to strip out. We're gonna thread those into the top, countersink them flush. This is the like 12th trip to a hardware store. The parts are not cheap, surprisingly, and we're getting everything metric because I want to be able to work on it and change parts out anywhere around the world and know that everything in this car is metric. No SAE. Uh, I'm sorry to anyone else that's looking for metric products out there because I've bought them all. 3D Okay, three millimeter is a 39. 14. Stainless steel, stainless steel, stainless steel. Four and three. Huh. See, that's an M3. I think if we try to do it with an M4. Yeah, so good. I like the head on these yeah. better than the Phillips. M6 and one. Let us see. They have any angle? I don't know. This would work. More than one. Huh? China. 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 Vagina. China. 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 What else do we need? We do you need more of these flappy discs? Yeah, that's gonna fit perfectly. Oh, but you know what it's gonna hit is this drawer. Which we could rip this down and then weld it to that top plate. <laughs> pain in the ass, but it'll work. And that way, we just tap a couple screws in here. But I think what we could do is we'll pull this off, weld this on on the workbench, and then just tap that plate from the top. It just won't be a smooth platform. That's the only thing, is that we'll have all these screws in there. Let's go ahead and get some flatheads and then we think about it, but that's the way to go. We're gonna be good stewards and we're gonna put it back. Now let's find M6. We'll tap it from the top and we'll drop it in with these little things. Oh look, they have M5s now. I think we do these M6 16s. We buy every one of them they have. Don't go get it greedy. Let's do all this. I want all of them. All right, this guy's over here in his SQ5 two version old model, and he's in a suit and tie, so we're gonna go out here barefoot. Gotcha, bitch! We trolled that guy with his old late model SQ5 while I'm here in my Lamborghini. 
no shoes. Breaking news. Dressing good is, you just feel better, you, you put out good energy when you dress good, but sometimes you just need to go back to your roots and just ground to the concrete, preferably the earth, barefoot. Just energy flows, you know, science shit, non-science shit, natural shit. So we're gonna go back and get those things welded up. Hopefully we can get in and all done in less than four hours. Because then we need to turn the shop back over. FBI, open up! This video is brought to you by smash that subscribe button. And when you're done with that, slay, I mean slay, the like button. What are you doing? I'm wondering if you know any logistics people that can help me ship a logistics? car to Europe. Logistics? You want to ship something to Europe? A car. Well, whose car? Yours? My car. What are you driving now? <laughs> it's double your horsepower. What do you got? What do you think? A Mercedes. No, I'm um, with the same line, same platform. What'd you buy? I got an Urus. Did you really? Yeah. What color? A dark blue. Ooh, nice. Your best bet's going to one of my guys. I work with him every day, all the time. He's amazing. And he ships a lot of vehicles for, like, movie stars. Okay. Give him a buzz. Okay. Let him know I told you to call. Let me know if you have any questions. He's great. Okay. Will do. Thank you so much. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. So hopefully this will be the last shipper that I have to call in order to get this car to Europe. How can I help you? I'm looking to ship a vehicle from the U.S. to Europe. Uh, what type of vehicle is it? It's a Lamborghini Urus. I'm shipping it over to Europe and doing like a whole overland adventure, post everything on YouTube. That's the whole plan with the car. It's not that we want to defer the business, mm -hmm. but it isn't cheap. Right. So you're paying significant, you're paying well over $25,000 or even more sometimes depending on where it's going. We definitely specialize in this business. I'm the guy that handles that. But I just want to kind of, you know, but uh, that's, a lot of times we have stickers. That's stickers air shop. freight or via container? Uh, air freight. Air freight, okay. So whereabouts in Europe would you want it to land? I mean, I was thinking Amsterdam just because of the ocean, you know, if I did cargo there. But I am flexible. The whole point is to drive it around all of Europe and the whole damn place. Whatever works best with cargo. If you got planes hitting Frankfurt, then you drop it there. Why don't you shoot me an email? I'll let you know. Are you taking it all around Europe or what? Yeah, my plan is to take the fucking thing all over Europe, all through Northern Africa. We're going everywhere. If you tell me that it's got to land somewhere, it's not a big deal. Uh, and oh, by the way, what time frame are you looking at? I'm looking to get it shipped by the end of this month. Last week of this month, first week of July. All right, cool. You'll, you'll get my text within like next minute. Okay. Awesome. Sounds perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, take care, bye. You too, bye. All right guys, so hopefully we'll get a shipper out of this one. And the ironic part about this whole build is this taking freaking forever to get all of these drilled in, because we gotta drill it, resize it. Drill it, resize it, drill it, resize it. I do my own drilling. And by the time we get all of this in, we gotta unscrew it all, and then put the hard, durable, but removable Loctite on. <laughs> and all of this, just so that we don't have to have any repairs on the road. But if we would have just left the whole thing out of wood, we could have had this whole thing done weeks ago. 
and the amount of hours if you think about it. I work hard. I work real hard. It's gonna look nice. And we're doing this so that it looks nice for you guys as the viewers to see the project. Because it is a Lambo. We want it to look nice. But we could just do the wood. And it wouldn't be a hack job, but it would look pretty good, but it's not durable like aluminium. Well, we're getting close. Unfortunately, as you can see, this platform is a little bit wavy from that welding that I did on it. It kind of torqued the metal when it cooled back down, I suppose. So I welded these L brackets on there. And what I'm trying to do is to push this whole thing down to try to get it as straight as possible. And it's slowly but surely kind of straightening it out. It's still a little wavy. Oh my God, whoa. So we've got to pull it back out, clamp this side, bring it a little lower, bring it back in. Then we got to grind the nuts on the back side of that L metal because it's running into the slide. Then we got to slap the camera guy for leaving the door open to the Lambo while it's raining. We also have this on again, off again rain all day. It's really annoying. Then we've got to probably either rivet or screw and thread the hinge on here. I've screwed up the aluminum hinge, so we're going to have to get the steel hinge. Maybe we'll take it from the old platform and get it to work. Senior camera guy has broken the tops, as you can see. This is why he's a camera guy, to stay behind the camera and not in front of the camera doing work with moi. So we were trying to tap this I snap two off because I was using the drill to try to fast tap it. We had one more tap left and I was like, all right, let's do it by hand so we don't pull break it out. out. Pull it out, pull it out, man. And he broke it. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. So we got to run to the store. The other thing is these aluminum angles, the drawer slides, we had put on the inside of the L metal and they were supposed to be on the outside. Are you stupid or something? <sighs> it, it's obviously that was just a moment of stupidity, but the breaking of the taps, I mean, that just shit happens. Ugh, oh, it's annoying. Gotta go get more parts from the store. Then we gotta screw those things in. Then we gotta cut the side thing, cut the front thing. Then get the hinge part figured out, the battery tree figured out. Cut that, because it's gotta be wider now. Then take it to my friend's house to TIG weld it. It's already five o'clock in the afternoon, so here we are on day 553 of the build. Might have been better off just leaving it wood. Probably the best thing to do would have been a hybrid system because the rail wasn't too bad. That's solid. And all these sliders wasn't too bad. It's this top plate that's a pain in the ass. If we replace this top piece out of wood every year, we'd probably still spend less time if we replaced it for the next 15 years straight than we are just mounting this one thing onto here and getting a cut. Um, I've got to get out of here. I can't deal with this shit. Anyway, I'm going to the store to go get some more taps, M6, and then hopefully we can try to get this all mounted ready tonight so that tomorrow we could go TIG weld the re new battery tray wider. Oh, what a pain. Hey, Connor, I needed to know your full detail. Your YouTube channel, you know, they want to make sure uh, in terms of uh, whatever's being posted is something that their corporate would uh, authorize. What time is it? 10 p.m. Yeah, it's time to give up. So, the problem that we have here is that when this plate folds up, it won't clear this little bump out. In order to clear that little bump out, we have to trim it back. Now, if we trim it back, it no longer will fit on land on the track that we have here. This has to sit on this track in order to lay flat. So I don't know what we're gonna do. 
this whole slide out thing is quite tricky. That's why everyone else makes these like weird, stupid lock-in panel bullshit, rattle around. You know who you are out there making those. These seats are actually still in the vehicle. Okay. So they actually just fold up. So this is just a quick disconnect, and then this comes out, and you can see them. Oh, wow. Kids, go pick them up, whatever you want to do. So it's super simple. Cool. Lightweight. and But this is a pain in the ass, too. All right. Uh, this is like a saga. Should be episode 543. How to turn a Lamborghini into a camper in the most complicated way. We should have just taken the freaking demo saw like we originally thought and just cut the whole freaking back of it off. I hate you. And then got an ultra lightweight pickup camper and just shoved the thing in and strapped it down. Hawked all the joints, filled them with spray foam, and then threw a battery in, and we would have been done. Yeah, I'm at a loss to keep with this tonight. I can't see. It's a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Like, the whole idea with this thing was to not be a slave material possession. And I feel like I've become a slave to this car. And I'm not liking that. I'm done with this mission. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. I may have a way to get you to do this fully authorized to capture whatever content you need. I actually spoke to the director and he said he's willing to entertain what they call a tenant host to be a security liability. They would be able to get you on, uh, you and your videographer, Hopefully we can get it done in the next two weeks, three weeks maximum, you know, because I've already pushed Okay. Back. So... I have to cut, 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 cut. And then, when I make the next one that fold right here, it's gonna have to cut the whole thing. So the whole thing gonna be flop. It's a bad design in my head. The, the 3D design in this head is no good. It's bad. It go bad. It went bad. Error message. You got mail. This whole part will be unsupported. Now obviously there'll be a crossbar here, so it'll be supported there, and then it will be unsupported for this portion right here, other than just on this. So this part will span, which isn't really that big of a deal. It's just gonna look retarded. But there's no other way, especially because we're folding this way. There's no possible theoretical way for that to work. Oh my god, I can't even fit in the damn car to work on it. <sighs> Just imagine me sleeping in, imagine me living in here, guys. They don't make a bigger Lamborghini. Them damn Italians, they like the tiny little things. Who cut this thing? Because it ain't straight. What the hell? Look at it cooking over there. Y'all, I gotta deal with this damn cameraman and his crazy shit all day long just so that you guys can see this quality content. Have you seen this guy? He's a bit cuckoo, cuckoo, like a cuckoo clock. Because I'm having to put up with him to make this video. Now look, he's about to break my tap. Let me do that, you're doing it crooked. You don't know how to tap. It's really made to be open from that door because there'll be another one that slides out this way. Like, I can pull it out as I'm from there. It'll come down. Yeah. Crawl in here. Like this. Uh, the first time laying down on the platform. And as you can see, we still have this hinge here. We weren't able to get rid of that. So what I'm thinking is, I'll probably just have two yoga mats instead of one yoga mat, and hopefully that will help the burden of those hinges. The other thing that I might do is to put like, get like a little strip of rubber or something to put on each side of the hinge, so it helps cushion the yoga mat over the hinge, so it's not just this like straight bar of hinge digging into the yoga mat, because there's one there, and this one's not so bad, but this one's what's bad, because it's right on my like back. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a little nap. And see, that's the whole point, is that I can literally take a nap, sleep, 
anywhere. Well, senior camera doesn't know what a circular saw is, so he gave us the <laughs> chainsaw. To, no, that's an angle grinder. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this to uh, cut this wood. It's gonna be super precise cutting in here. Okay, so the idea, go like that, that's go like the that. One. Bam! Okay, so now we know that marking is good. A good precise job at marking. Even though I have this sharpie that is like the sharpie I've ever seen in my life. You'll close like that. Prison shift. Clear, 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 clear! The question is, if I leave this end a little long, are we going to hit the cooler? Yeah, that's gonna work. Maybe we have to grind a little bit on this one. Ah, wait, Pucha. The story of my life. I need a piece of wood. Now, we will take this out of cut. No, don't f with me, man. Wait, 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 wait. Moving really slow. Nothing is easy on the Lamborghini. As you can see, the screws are hitting each other. So, this thing won't fold all the way flat. So, what we're gonna have to do is, even though we have already tapped all of these, we're gonna have to drill new holes on one of the sides. And re-tap all of those freaking holes. We have to do the same with that one. And we might have to do the same with the other one we just finished. Which is super exciting. Yeah. Enjoy. Probably bending all the f hands, yeah. and then this will come down like this. Then so I think we unscrew all of these screws. Sometimes I might just go like this and like leave it here. I mean, this isn't that bad because my butt hits right here, so there's like no weight in this area. Okay. And because this hinge is on the back side, it's really nice and flat. And then you should tape a piece of metal up here so that it slides on a piece of metal or a piece of wood. Or this thing slides right there. Gotta love aluminium. F yeah, man, check it out. What? You want a cold one? Come here right now. But if we're going down some washboarded road in like Tajikistan and this fridge comes loose, it's like millimeters away, like a centimeter away from smashing that rear window 100%. Yeah. Now we have to lock tight the screws in the base. Then we have to get these other screws here, then we have to drill two more, and then we gotta drill these back screws in, and then we gotta 
did a lot of work and then other work and then other things and then things and things. It's what this is about. It's about things. We do two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. Things, 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 more things. We put it on, doesn't work. We drill a new hole, then that works. Then we put it on again, we try it another way, doesn't work. Then we get it the second way, then we gotta pull it off, put the Loctite on, then we put it back. This is the story of this build. The story of my life. So we did our four steps forward and two steps back, and now we got it where it is. We just, uh, I guess, need one more step forward and <laughs> one step back and then one step forward. You guys get it. If I can't film it going on an airplane, I'm not going to pay for it to fly on an airplane. Next time on Six Wheel Garage, I finally find a solution to the shipping, rush to get the car finished, built out, and drive it to LA, and on the day of the shipping, everything comes to a screeching halt. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, sixwheelgarage.com. That's right, sixwheelgarage.com, where you can go and get exclusive merch. I've got new merch dropping all the time. Hats, bandanas, sweatshirts, t-shirts, pants, shorts. Maybe we're gonna put shoes. Maybe we're gonna have mugs. Maybe we're even gonna have band-aids of different sizes for your car, for your bumper in emergency situations. Maybe we'll even have band-aids for your fingers, for your brain, screws, bolts, for when the screws are loose in your head. You don't know, everything could be available soon. Six wheelgarage.com that is the number six wheel garage.com that is the sponsor of this video great awesome exclusive merch coming out soon and if you want to know more about it and be entered to win in certain raffles and giveaways that we have a merch go to instagram and tiktok where we also post daily stories exclusive that aren't on any other platforms thanks for watching six wheel garage